Hey, hey, YouTube fam. We made it. We're here in the desert of Arizona. In Buckeye, Arizona. And we're already on scene. And we've done a little bit of searching. And we've already located a stolen vehicle. You're not going to believe this. Check this out. So we're here for the search for Daniel Robinson in this desert. He was a 23-year-old geologist who recently went missing. And we just pulled up. We've been driving around on these back roads in Buckeye. And we came up on this. And um, I took a picture of the VIN and sent it to the local law enforcement already. And it turns out it's a stolen vehicle. So they're going to send an officer out and a tow truck I guess to recover it but we're having we've only been in Buckeye for a couple hours and we've already located and recovered a stolen vehicle y'all and uh, luckily there's no one inside but Nipsey watch out <clears throat> so it's freaky though this just goes to show you out here in the desert Crazy stuff going on, y'all. I mean, could this be kind of what happened to Daniel? Did he run into some people that, uh, you know, carjack was in trying to carjack him and something bad happened and they ended up taking him instead? Look at this guy. I mean, this was freshly stolen and dumped. They stole the wheels off of it. They busted in the trunk. You can see all the way in the trunk. I don't see anybody in there, luckily. What is it, Kaga? What do you smell? Kaga smells something. But they stole the wheels off of it. So, crazy shady things going on out in the desert, y'all, of Arizona. So, makes me wonder if Daniel... Ran into Nipsey. Get out of there. Come on. Ran into, ran into a shady situation. Something crazy happened. But this is definitely a stolen vehicle. So, look where we're at. We are way out in the middle of the desert. We drove several miles out on these four-wheeler roads to start the search for Daniel Robinson. So Daniel was last seen at his job site. He pulled up the day he went missing. Um, they said he was acting very strange and then he ended up getting back in his vehicle and leaving. Well, it wasn't too long after that when his, um, his father had his sister go look for him and he was uh, actually uh, pronounced missing at the time. And um, a couple days later, you know, they, they, they had to hold up the search for 48 hours um, and then they ended up finding his vehicle, which had wrecked into a ravine, um, and a, a rancher found it. And uh, so it was very strange. It had, it had been flipped, and they said it had attempted to have been started 40 times. So someone, after it wrecked, they said it drove 11 miles, stopped and wrecked and flipped over, and then it attempted to be started 40 times That is what the black box and the... Um, control module said which is like the computer inside the vehicle so they got the information from the black box that said the vehicle went 11 miles after um, it had wrecked so that's very strange um, it makes you wonder what's going on uh, was that Daniel uh, you know not in his right mind after the car accidentally continually trying to drive uh, who knows so but we're here to see if we can help bring some closure to Mr. Robinson. Uh, Mr. Robinson is Daniel's dad, and he's been he's actually moved to this area to become a citizen so he can get uh, the law enforcement, the local law enforcement, to help more. Um, apparently, they haven't been too much of a help, and they've kind of been a stickler, uh, sticking aside to Mr. Robinson. So we're here to provide our services and see if we can't help out. It's a vast desert out here, and as you can see, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on. But um, 
we're gonna be here all weekend long trying to look for daniel possibly into the next week if they'll allow us um it's, it's all about getting permission to go on ranchers properties and stuff like that so if we can get the permission and everything we'll be out here as long as we can uh to help mr robinson so he's an army veteran a war veteran and um he deserves help and he's not getting any help he's having to do everything himself so stay tuned hit that like and subscribe down at the bottom i sure appreciate y'all watching that's what makes this this trip um possible is just the likes and subscribes at the time at this time so i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all we got the dogs they love being down in the warm they used to the snow and Cog is just enjoying herself. We've been driving, she's been smiling and we're looking at me the whole time like, ooh, we're back to the warm weather. So we're definitely not gonna get a blizzard down here. But it's just, a, as you can see, it's tough, vast country. There's all kinds of different types of cactuses cactus that are under the dirt so we got to really be careful with the dogs we're not going to push too hard out here but it's just wild to have already found a stolen vehicle i mean right off the bat boom there it was we drove a couple miles out back got the vin and called it in and uh so they're sending law enforcement out to deal with this i guess and there's like a highway vest or something. But man, it sure is weird. So this is the first time I've been out here in some uh, desert like this where it's just a whole lot of nothing as far as the eye can see. But we're gonna do some searching around here real quick just to make sure there's not anyone out in the bushes um, but tomorrow there's a line search actually for Daniel um, that uh, his father set up which is gonna be where all the volunteers get in a long stretch line and they go through the desert combing it and um, they've already found two pe two separate people's remains doing this already so it, it, it's working so they're going to attempt to do that and uh, i've talked to mr robinson he's going to try to have a little um section broken off away from the people people for me and the dogs so we can work that area Ooh, there's a big jackrabbit that just took off over there you see him bouncing good thing the dogs didn't see him they chase him all the way to timbuktu But I mean, it's 60 degrees out here. My allergies are going haywire because of all this cactus is blooming and stuff. So, but I am so happy not to be in a blizzard anymore, y'all. <laughs> this is so refreshing to be in the sunshine. But this is new country for the dog, so we gotta, hopefully they'll be able to recognize the cactus. They're smart, so. Chicago teach the other ones but that's what I want to do is get out here today and kind of let them run around and get used to this environment before we hit the search hard tomorrow and then we came up on the stolen vehicle so that was interesting to say the least but I appreciate y'all watching and stay tuned for tomorrow's search it's going to be exciting and uh, if I come up on anything else cool I'll definitely let y'all know thanks for watching Zuma, say bye.